How's it going, Danny? Good to see you. How are you, brother? Good to see you. It's been too long, man, hasn't it? You're looking great, I must say, all smiley and happy there. I, I appreciate that. I've got a good, uh, good studio light on me right now, so it's, um, it's looking a bit better. And also, I was in Wicklow in Ireland, and it was we got glorious sunshine for a week. So I'm feeling good, well-rested, ready to get back on the horse. And now things have started to open up again. Man, we can't ba- you know wait to get back out and start start playing shows and stuff, you know. Back at it is right, and you've chosen to kick off your tour on the fifteenth of May in Belfast. Boom, man! Well, we couldn't have figured out you know a better place to to kick off the tour. We just have such fond memories. My literally some of our last memories were we played Belfast, we played Dublin, played Scotland, and then we finished eighteen months ago. Um, we went into a car, went into a house, and then stayed there for eighteen months. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> we've all been through I think feel like we've all been through a, a mad one you know it's been it's been really crazy for everybody to to kind of comprehend what's happened and I feel like you know this is kind of the reason why like I said we're got, we're announcing the 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 greatest hits the tales from the script the greatest hits you know the album mixed with the tour you know being in it being in an arena sit you know standing on chairs singing on tables few drinks singing you know hall of fame superheroes oh these times are hard I just feel like that's where I want to be. I want to be right in the middle of that, feeling that energy. Of course. And as excited as we'll be as a band to be playing the songs, I kind of feel like the crowd, particularly a Belfast crowd, you know, there's nothing like them. You know, there's 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 two gigs that I always wait on. It's the Dublin gig and the Belfast gig with people I love that I haven't seen in ages. You know what I mean? So, man, I can't wait. I totally get you doing the greatest hits thing when you think about it. I mean, there's never been a better time to remind people of all the hits. Do you know what I mean? And they'll feel fresh to you as well when you perform them. I kind of feel like the songs that we have already, Hall of Fame, Superheroes, you know, all the way through the catalogue, I feel like there's a there's a certain optimism in there that I feel like I want to sing again. Man, we wrote those songs 10 years ago, but I can only imagine, actually, actually the lyrics feel even bigger and better now that we've been through something, even another hard thing. Before it was the, the financial crisis, now it was COVID. So, I kind of feel like you're probably not going to find a band more happy about doing a greatest hits because normally it feels like the end of an era or something. I'm like, nah, you're not that lucky. Oh, what you mean? It's not like close the book and you're going to come back as a jazz band or something, no? <laughs> you're not getting rid of us that easily. <laughs> of course, a new song as well to go with the greatest hits release then, Danny. Tell me all about I Want It All. Do you know, it's, it's always kind of weird writing during lockdown because I've done a lot of, you know, Zoom sessions and this kind of thing. Besides the script, you know, I write and produce for, for other bands, so bands like Picture This and etc. Um, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So we were we were doing, you know, uh, lateral flow tests, PCR tests, coming in the studio, and myself and Mark end up the first song we wrote <clears throat> together. And I think it's kind of if you hold back the waters a little bit, as soon as you let them waters go, you know, there's it's flowing. And it was the first song that we wrote together for you know from the past experience and again it's it's an emotional song it's about a, it is about a relationship but at the same time the slogan in is like i want it all and then some but you know we kind of realize that like i don't want someone i can just be with in during lockdown i want someone i can't be without i feel like this song like i want it all and then some is like I, you know don't settle for anything unless it's everything and i feel like that's kind of the overall message of this song you know yeah well it's a good message isn't it why should anyone settle for less the fans are going to love the fact that there's a new song on the greatest hits as well and your fans are great i mean they're really really loyal it's been such a good run so far for you and them and all the people you've met along the way great isn't it i just feel like we have a kinship and i feel like we've grown together you know it's been 13 years you know us inside out you know what I mean you've been there from from the start and and also you've been there from the start you're part of the story yeah I think we've all enjoyed it (laughs) just before we wrap then I'm going to choose my favourite song from the greatest hits then and I'm going to go for Before the Worst we wrote that in LA um I was going through a breakup at the time, but it was just like, I really missed home. You can hear it was like, we were, you know, on Grafton Street, having a few drinks. It was Guinness all night. You were vodkas and Coke, you know? And also it was one of the first times besides We Cry that we'd actually attempted what now is modern pop music, which is singing really fast. You know, we were singing what backs against the world, saying things that we thought but never heard. Who would have thought it would end up like this? <laughs> Give mine, keep it going. <laughs> yeah, everything we talked about is gone. You know, and it kind of set the scene for, a band that can almost flip rap, add a bit of melody to it, um, and then kind of, I don't mean, get away with it, and then have a big soaring chorus. 
that's kind of how the song came about. Still, it's still a crowd pleaser, man. As soon as I hear that riff, the piano riff, as it comes in, you know. Let's play that song now then, Danny. Thanks a million for coming on. I'll see you soon, okay? Bro, thank you so much for the support over the years as well. We much appreciate it and we'll see you all soon. And Belfast, what's up? We're coming for you. <laughs>